Often while working in ZBrush, you're going to want to sculpt symmetrically. The keyboard shortcut for turning on symmetry is the letter X. When I press X, by default, symmetry is along the X axis, which is good in this case because this character's face is symmetrical along the X axis. So if I grab my move brush, whatever I do to one side will be affected and mirrored over to the other side. Your symmetry options can be found in the transform palette. So if we go up to transform, grab the palette handle and dock that over on the right, you'll notice that we have this button activate symmetry pressed. And then you'll also notice that X symmetry is the active symmetry. Let's work with another 3D tool to demonstrate Y and Z symmetry. I'm going to hit the letter T to drop this model to canvas and then hit control N to clear. Let's go into our tool palette and let's select a 3D cube. I'll click and drag to draw that into my canvas. Hit the edit button to make that live. Let's go into our tool palette and click make poly mesh 3D so we can do some sculpting on this. And then I'll hit control D a few times just to divide this cube so we have a little bit more resolution to work with. Now again, you'll notice we have our transform palette docked to the right. I'll click activate symmetry. And as we saw with the face, by default, X symmetry is turned on. I'm going to grab my standard brush for this example. So we can sculpt along the X axis. Hit control Z to undo that. I'm going to turn off X and turn on Y. And now you'll notice that I'm sculpting along the Y axis. I can turn on X and Y at the same time so that you're working with both X and Y. Let's undo that. Let's turn off X, Y and just turn on Z. So if I come here to the top, you'll notice that you've done some sculpting along the Z axis. And as we saw with X and Y, we can turn on X, Y and Z all at the same time and then sculpt on all axes. Make some interesting patterns this way. Let's control Z to undo that. I'm going to turn off Y and Z, so we're just working with X symmetry. And now I want you to take notice of this button M. This stands for mirror symmetry. Currently with mirror symmetry on, whatever I do to one side will be mirrored identically to the other side. If I turn mirror symmetry off and do this same sculpt, you'll notice that it's pushing in a positive direction on this side, but then it's moving in a negative direction on this side. So it's essentially following the stroke's direction. So depending on what you want as far as your results, you might turn mirror on or off. So let's turn that back on. Now let's talk about radial symmetry. If you press this little R, you're going to turn on radial symmetry. You'll also no notice next to the R button, we have a slider. This slider will designate how many points we're actually working with. So I'm going to turn this up to somewhere around 4. and I'm going to turn on Z symmetry and let's choose something like our magnify brush so now you notice I have four points running along the Z axis which I can use to inflate these four corners we'll do the same thing here on the bottom so you can see there's a lot of different interesting things you can do working with radial symmetry Let's take a look of radial symmetry uh, on a polysphere. So I'll clear this, go to my tool palette, select a sphere 3D, click and draw to drag that into my canvas, hit edit, and then again under the tool palette, let's click make poly mesh 3D. And then one more time, I'm going to hit control D just a few times to divide this to add a little bit more resolution to this sphere. Okay, let's click Activate Symmetry here in our Transform Palette, or just hit the letter X. I'm going to turn off X and turn on Z. Click R for Radial, and let's turn these points up. Somewhere around 30 should be good. I'm going to switch back to my Standard Brush. 
and now we can have fun sculpting in some interesting patterns.